CNN's John King reports widespread panic within the Democratic Party. After Joe Biden's underperformance in the debate, sparking concerns about the possibility of calls for his resignation and the impact on primary candidates. And right now, as we speak, there is a deep, a wide, and a very aggressive panic in the Democratic Party. It started minutes into the debate, and it continues right now. It involves party strategists, it involves elected officials, it involves fundraisers. And they're having conversations about the president's performance, which they think was dismal, which they think will hurt other people down the party in the ticket. And they're having conversations about what they should do about it. Some of those conversations include, should we go to the White House and ask the president to step aside? Others are, other of the conversations are about, should prominent Democrats go public with that call? because they feel this debate was so terrible. Uh, they do say in, in moments in the debate later, the president got better and got his footing. But then at the end, even his closing statement was a little halting. The contrast between the two candidates. Let me be clear. None of them and a lot of Republicans don't think Donald Trump had a great night. Donald Trump broke the fact check machine more than... Long-standing concerns about Joe Biden's capability and leadership seem to be validated. The term dismal performance underscores their belief that Biden is unfit for the presidency. Internal discussions about Biden's resignation highlight a lack of stability and unity within the Democratic Party, perceived by the public as confusion and inconsistency. This fuels concerns that Biden's presidency is hurting not only the national agenda, but also local and state elections, aligning with conservative criticisms that Biden's policies and achievements are detrimental at all levels.